Two years. Two years it's been since Apple announced something at WWDC 2020. And you know what that is, right? You know what that is because we've been talking about it for a while now. And that's the transition to Apple Silicon from Intel. Well, guess what? Two years is coming up this summer. And I'll discuss what that could mean in just a moment. But first, I got the email. Here it is. It's got this logo right here, the Swift logo. This is the announcement of WWDC, which happens on June 6th through 10th, but the keynote will probably be on June 6th. By the way, what's up with that font? I'm not a font snob or anything, but I can tell that call to code, that's not their regular font. Somebody messed up this email. Ah, whatever. Anyway, here's the newsroom, Apple press release announcing WWDC. Hey, WWDC, are they coming to my city? Are they coming to DC? DC stands for Developer Conference, you idiot. Oh, um, oh, Developer Conference. WWDC means Worldwide Developer Conference. Whew, got excited there for a moment. <laughs> that was, that was just, let's continue. Now they're doing it online again, right? So if you do have an Apple developer account, you can attend the whole thing for free and watch all the sessions. Pretty cool. I'll link to this announcement down below. You can go check it out. It talks about all the stuff that they're planning to talk about. But I just wanted to quickly go over from a developer's perspective what the biggest items are going to be that are interesting. First of all, there's this big Swift logo or as other YouTubers call it, uh, the bird logo. Now to me that suggests that there's perhaps a new version of Swift, the programming language that will be announced. At last year's WWDC, we got an announcement that the new version will have async await. Wow, a feature that's been around in C-sharp and TypeScript for years now, nice. What will it get this year? A working autocomplete and syntax highlighting? <laughs> No, but seriously, um, according to GitHub, this page right here on programming languages, Swift is actually one of the most actively developed programming languages. What else is there? Go, Swift, TypeScript, Rust. So we'll probably be sure to see something on Swift. If it's not a new version, it may be a tool surrounding the ecosystem. It would be really great to get some better interoperability support with third-party libraries and frameworks built in C or C++ though. That'd be really nice. All right, what else? Um, I'm not gonna talk about all the new OS updates, which they always do, so that's coming for sure. I wanna keep this real short. Now let's talk about hardware. This is a developer conference, so typically there is no hardware announced. However, however, I'm gonna do some speculation here and maybe some VR stuff will be announced. I thought maybe they would announce the VR stuff in the March event but they didn't do that, so perhaps now it's time. Especially with all the new chips that have been coming out that have all this power, it can handle VR, so maybe. Probably no new chip announcements will happen, like the M2 news that you've been seeing, not news, but speculations and rumors. I don't think that's gonna happen. We have all these new chips, M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, and we still haven't really seen their power fully harnessed. Sure, they can build code faster and run your web apps faster. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? That's what we do on this channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a like. Now with all this new hardware, I bet there's more things that can be unleashed. Unleashed, uh, wait a minute, that was the October event, right? I need another word. Unleashed synonyms. Released. Wait, that's too boring. Freed. Oh, the Swift bird is being freed into the sky. Nah. Loosed. Unchained. Discharge. Unleashed. We'll stick with that. I think there's going to be more capabilities unleashed, especially related to the neural engine stuff, which we haven't heard too much about yet, but it's in there. It's in there. And it's going to be discharged. Unleashed. Unleashed. I'm also going to take just an educated guess here about one more piece of hardware that they might announce. And this has to do with the two year thing. You see back in 2020 in the summer in WWDC, they announced that they're on a two year schedule to go from Intel to Apple Silicon. You already know all this. WWDC is coming up and we still have one more bit of hardware that has not been transitioned. So if they are to stick to their schedule and to stick to their word and promise, then we might get that one last one, which is the Mac Pro. So while the Mac Pro might not be released or available or shipping yet, maybe not till the end of the year, who knows, they might announce it. I'm not gonna say that they will announce it, but they might announce it and they probably will announce it. So that's just my theorizing here. So I, for one, am looking forward to finding out how the new hardware can be used. 
especially in the area of machine learning and neural network. And personally, I'm looking forward to some more interoperability between Swift and other frameworks. So I can start using Swift libraries a little bit more in my mobile development. Keep it short today, folks. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.